Hey, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Carlton. Today we're going to be doing some pork pinwheels out of a pork loin. These are going to be really great, fantastic recipe. Let's get after it. Okay, the first thing we did, we rinsed off our pork loin. Now we're going to butterfly it. And how I'm going to do that, I'm just going to... You want to come down about two-thirds of the distance. And you're just going to start butterflying it open. And like I say, you're just going to, you don't want to cut it all the way through on the back side here, on this side. We're just going to, working on back, cut it again. Just want to kind of butterfly this out into one big piece. Okay, now that we got our pork loin, butterfly it out. What we're going to do, we're going to take, we're going to put some cling wrap over it, like that, and I'm just going to kind of hammer it out flat. Okay, now we've got it hammered out. Now that we got it all hammered out and everything, now we're going to mix up our marinade for it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to mix up our marinade for this. We got one quarter cup of soy sauce. We got a half a cup of regular Coca-Cola. We got a half a cup of brown sugar. We got two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. That's going in here. We got three tablespoons of vegetable oil. We got one third cup of ketchup. This is going to be an amazing marinade. We got two cloves of garlic. We got one tablespoon of dry mustard. It's going in there. We got two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. And I've got one teaspoon of ground ginger and one teaspoon of thyme, ground thyme. That's going in here. This is going to be our marinade. So what I'm going to do I've got it all in this bag. I'm going to roll it up, try to get some air out of it. And I'm just going to mix this up really good. All right, I've got it mixed all up really good. Now I'm going to take, and I'm just going to roll this up, just like this. And this is going in the bag. Just like that. Now, I'm going to seal this up. I'm not going to vacuum seal it. I'm just going to seal it up. And it's going in the refrigerator for 12 hours. So let me get this sealed up. We'll get it in the refrigerator. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, we've got our pork loin out of the marinade. And what I have here is I've got two gala apples that I've diced up. And we're just going to sprinkle them on here. Probably not going to use them all, but we're going to get a good layer of them on here. Just like that. These are going to be so good. When we get through with these, they're going to be amazing. But just kind of scatter the apples out. Your chopped up apples like this. And you want to try to leave an inch or so, inch and a half from the edges there. We're just going to go around and put these. This is, these apples are going to give this pork an amazing flavor with that marinade we used. It's going to be amazing. Okay. All right, we got those on there. We're going to take some brown sugar, just a little bit. 
and we're just going to sprinkle some brown sugar on the apples. We've already got some brown sugar in our marinade. Now we're going to put a little bit in here with the apples. Just like that. Not a whole lot. Just enough for the flavor. A little bit right in there. There we go. That's enough of that. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put a little bit of ground cinnamon on here. Not a whole bunch. We're just using just enough for the flavor. That's enough right there. Next we're going to put a little bit of honey in here. I'm just going to drizzle some honey in like this. I know what you're saying, man, this is going to be sweet, but you just wait till we get through with this. All right, that's enough honey. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn these like, turn this like this, and I'm just going to roll this up. Just going to roll it up so we can make pinwheels out of it. Just kind of get it as tight as you can as you roll it up. Just like that. Just keep rolling it just like that. All right, now that we got it all rolled up, man, this, this smell, the, the smell of this pork loin right now is great. Just keep rolling. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take some skewers just like this. We got it all rolled up. There's the end of it right there. Just going to roll it up just like that. And we're just going to run it through just like that. Run them all the way through. And you want them to be about inch, inch and a half apart, just like that. A lot of people will tie theirs up. We're doing it with skewers this time, wooden skewers. So just keep going it through. Just about like that. One more skewer. We're gonna go right in the end here. Let's hold this baby together. Let me go. This is a little high there. Okay. All right. We've got it all skewed together. Now I'll come back with some kitchen shears and trim these off. So let me go out. Get our. We're gonna be doing this on a pellet smoker with apple pellets today. And we're going to be running at about 225 degrees. We're going to take it to an internal temperature of about 165. So let me go out and get the pellet smoker going, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, we've got our pellet smoker up to 10. We're going to be running this about 225 on our pellet smoker with apple pellets. So let's go get her on. I got the meat stick all going here. Now let's get this... Just gonna set this right on there. Just like that. All right, we're ready to go. Okay, our pork loin's done. I took it to 165, pulled it off, put it in a pan, covered, loosely covered with aluminum foil, let it rest about 20 minutes. Now we're ready to cut it up, but let's kind of rehash what we did to this before I do. First thing we did, we butterflied it out, just laid it out. We kind of pounded a little bit to make it flat, mixed up a marinade, and I put the marinade right over here. Marinated it for 24 hours in the refrigerator. You can do it for 12 hours, up to 24. I went ahead and did it for 24 hours. Pulled it out. We put some diced up apples on it, some gala apples. Then we put some honey on it, put some brown sugar, and a little bit of cinnamon rolled it up, we pinned it with these skewers, put it on the pellet smoker with apple pellets. So 
I'm fixing to cut it and we're fixing to see how it turned out. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it right in the middle, right between these. Oh man, I want you to look at that. Now that looks good. Go ahead and you just make these, just cut them right between this. And there's your serving right there. Okay. Man, that looks, I want you to look at that. Look how that looks. And man, it's juicy. Juice is running out of it. All right, I'm fixing to cut this little piece off right here. And we're fixing to give her a taste test. Cut this off right here. We're fixing to taste test it. Oh man. We're talking money right here. This is good. Well, thanks a lot for watching my videos. I really appreciate you stopping by. I want to send a special thanks out to everyone that watches my videos and to all my subscribers. And I want to send a special thanks out to all the men and women and all of our first responders in law enforcement and all of our first responders. And I want to send a special thanks out to all the men and women serving in the military and to all of our veterans. Thank you very much.